Dear students, today we are going to start with our review of statistics as applied to animal breeding and genetics. That's our main objective of the day. Fine. Straight away, we are going to discuss about two categories of parameters of samples or population. We firstly have description parameters and then parameters used to describe the variation. Let's start with the first category. So to describe either a sample or a population, the, pop the sample size or population size, the mean and the standard deviation is used. Meanwhile, for the variation, we have the variance and the coefficient of variation. So how are they estimated? The mean is estimated by the sum of all the observation divided by the population size. According to this formula, where I denote for the observation and varies from 1 to N. Alright. Now, for the variance and standard deviation, we have two cases. The first case is when the number of observation is less than 30. Here we use the sample estimate where the variance is hereby denoted S square and equal to the deviation to the mean divided by the degrees of freedom and then the standard deviation being equal to the square root of the variance. Fine, for the second situation where we have more than 30 observations, we apply the population estimate and here the variance is denoted sigma square and is equal to the form formula here presented where n represents the population size. Note that here the population size is used instead of the degree of freedom. Alright, now the coefficient of variation is estimated as follows. We have sigma by the mean. Now, what is the significance of the coefficient of variation? Fine. Figure 1 and 2 here represent two situations. Firstly, when the mean mu is constant and the standard deviation varies, we realize that the variation increases. You can see here, we have a wide range of variation between plus or minus 2 sigma. All right, for the second case, instead, when the standard deviation here is constant and the mean vary, we realize that the variation instead decreases. explain that here we realize that if we consider the maximum potential of each breed here sample or population 2a has already reached its maximum potential meaning that there is no more variation to improve on this breed meanwhile here we still have some variation because the maximum potential is yet to be achieved explaining that here when the standard deviation is constant for both samples and the mean increase, therefore, the variation instead decreases. Dear students, we'll break here for now and thank you for watching and see you very soon for the next step on how to estimate the covariance and other parameters used to assess the degree of dependence between variance or parameters.